Okay, lah, come, let's start. Three, five, huh? Okay, come. Let's talk about chapter three, electricity first. I know this chapter by heart, but I don't remember what's in your syllabus. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, if no, no questions you want to ask, then I'm just going to go into an overview and similar to what we did with yesterday's chapter six. So hopefully that would help you, okay? The three chapter five. Okay, so um, when it comes to electricity, right? So uh, first things first, be very, very clear about uh, what current potential difference and resistance are. So most students don't have problems with current and uh, resistance, but potential difference tends to throw them off because I don't know why, but a lot of reasons. Lah. So just uh, we'll always remember it this way. If let's say you have... Okay. So if we have a circuit, right? Okay, regardless of whatever uh, resistors, uh, light bulbs, whether they're connected in series or parallel, never mind. Uh, but always, always, always uh, be clear about the difference between the three, which are of current, potential difference, and resistance, right? So you've got current. We've got potential difference and you've got resistance okay so um we're not let's not talk so much about uh, definitions today although definitions really do help because when you understand the definition then it helps you be clear about the three current potential difference and resistance current formula is given Current formula is I equals Q over T. So what is I? I is actually rate of flow of charge. How much charge is flowing through the circuit uh, at that point every second? Potential difference, on the other hand, is what work done to move a unit charge between two points in a circuit. So it's a work done. Resistance. Resistance uh, is... What's the definition? I think they, they do accept the V over I. They allow resistance as... a uh, the ratio of potential difference to current. That one you allow. This is based on um, Ohm's law. Um, also take note that if you need to uh, look at the factors, right, this is the formula la, for resistance. R equals rho L over A, where rho is the resistivity, which means the resistance of the material, specific to the material. Okay, L is the length, because longer length, higher resistance, and then inversely proportional to the area, la, larger area, smaller resistance. Now, I think resistance, most students don't have a problem. So in yellow, I've written the formula. Now, what I'm going to scribble here in blue is if you still have problems telling the difference right here is what you think of. It's not what you write. Ah. It's not the definition, but it's what you can think of. You already know resistance, but I've just covered it anyway. You think of resistance as being something similar to friction in the wire. So to speak. Or obstacles, lah. So when there's more resistance, means there's more obstacle blocking the current from flowing. Current is what flows, the flowing thingy. Okay, the flowing thingies. So the current, current is what flows inside the wire. And always remember that current, we must always remember that current is flowing from positive to negative, yes? So this is current, okay? I is current. Okay, unit ampere. Potential difference, of course, is V, unit V. Resistance is R, unit ohm. Okay, current, that's why we always draw current flow indicating with arrows. Potential difference, you have to think of it as it is because of the, the, the definition of work done, right? It's not work. Potential difference is not energy. But if you're still getting confused between current potential difference, then you, then you have to train yourself. Okay, you know what? It's like work. It's like work, work but not. Okay, but well, you think of it as like work, lah. All right. So that's why if you can tell the difference, then it's easier for you to remember. Okay, this is why current is always measured with an ammeter that's placed in series because you are measuring how much is the flow of charge every second at one point. So that you put a fuller there, you put the marker there, then you count ah, how much passing through that. Uh, you start timer there, you count, 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 count. Okay. 
And that's why potential difference is measured with a volt meter that's always placed in parallel because it's a work done between two points. So it's how much work done from here, go through this, come out the other side. If you put a volt meter here, like one point, how can? How much work is done at one point? Zero lah, because work done at one point, that, that's not how it works. Work done to move the charge from one point to another point. Okay? I'm going to remove that because that's just confusing. Can? Oh, one more formula. Ah, shoot, I don't even remember that I gave this. Um, if you have to count the, based on the number of charge, right? Q equals Me, where... Remember, Q is the amount of charge, right? Unit C. M is number of electrons. E is the charge for a single electron, the 1.6 bit. Top R is resistance of circuit. The formula at the bottom is with the resistance of wire. Um, these two R's can be the same uh, if you're talking about the same component. Like, let's say, for example, you calculated this for this component, this component. You can put that same R back into this R if you're counting only for this component, the, this V, this I, this R. Let's say once you've counted the resistance for that wire, this R and this R are the same. So that means you've counted for, let's say this, oh. when, I, when I draw a, a resistor here, this resistor can also be, hmm, okay, to help you not be so confused, sometimes when we draw a resistor here, sometimes it doesn't mean it is a resistor, it can be representative of uh, another wire, for example. Oh. Okay, so this is the overview, but yeah, the values of R you count from one formula can be placed into the other formula, if you're talking about the same the exact same component, same wire. Because like, you know how they make resistors? Uh, even, let's say we don't talk about wires, we talk about how we make the resistors, the one, uh, uh, yeah, did you all learn in RBT? Uh? The jalo jalo, bawana wani, and how they make those resistors also is actually based on this rho L over R, uh, rho L over A. That means they, they design the resistance using wires on the inside. Because that's, that's how they make components, right? Um, even fuse also is made out of a wire. Um, if you look at motors, it's also made out of wires, right? You put the ammeter inside also got wire. Volt meter inside also got wire. So electrical components may not all got wire inside. So by manipulating what we know based on the resistance, you are able to come up with these different kind of components. Huh? When we have remember all this formula and the same symbols are used, they are they are the same in those you know as in if it's the same symbol, then it's uh, the same thing. Meaning like Q, Q is charge. So you put inside I equals Q over T, V equals W over Q, it's the same thing. Like, so you counted charge here, you can take this Q and put inside this formula, or you can put inside this formula. Okay, so because it's the same symbol, ma, that means it's the purpose to put the same symbol to let you know, oh, you can actually, you count from this way, you can take and put inside here, then this formula, you can put inside here. So that like same concept as how this I is the same as this I also. Okay. So now let's look at um, circuit formulas. Circuit formulas. So circuit formulas, um, meaning, right, if let's say we're looking at an overall circuit, series or parallel doesn't matter. Huh? You know, my drawing not so bad huh, with the new tablet. You know why? Because I'm drawing more slowly. <laughs> because it's less sensitive. If I draw too fast, it won't respond. Hey, not bad, all my drawing. <laughs> <That's up on. laughs> anyway, so uh, circuit formulas. Uh, what I mean by circuit formulas is if we're looking at overall circuits or part of the circuit, right? Like how, uh, okay, like this, this is just current in at one point. This is voltage also at one point. So now we're going to look at components in general. You have R equals V over I, or we're going to write it in this form, V equals I R. You also have the formula P equals IV. These, um, uh, you want to know which formula is given, which is not given, just refer to the formula sheet. I've already shared this in your GC, all right? So you have V equals IR, P equals IV. Um, Spin-offs of this formula, of course, you have the P equals I squared R and P equals V squared over R, which are basically derived from these two formula. Uh, these two are not given, but you know this too is enough already. However, do take note that this formula is always used for um, power loss. This is specifically the power loss formula. You can actually count power loss using this also, can. But it's just that um, we, the preferred formula is P equals I squared R. Why? Because power loss, 
depends on the value of the current and the value of the resistance. So if you can get the correct value of current and correct value of resistance, you can trade away count of power loss. Why I say sometimes you can't use this formula directly is because if you use if you use correctly, you can get the same answer. You can, but there are some situations where some questions purposely confuse the students, right? The put, they put the wrong V inside, and then you get the, the wrong power loss. Um, mm -hmm. So to be on the safe side, you just use P equals I squared R. But generally, these are the two formulas. Lah. Okay. okay, so when, when I say um, circuit formulas, right, in general, in general, you always have to remember that, what is this, that whenever you apply this formula you must apply them for the same section so example uh, let's say right if we have a question like this six volts all right so if you are going to use this value that means this is the entire v so when you use these formulas that means uh the v is six uh, you must take current for the whole circuit and the resistance of the whole circuit so you either use it as a whole, meaning uh, that V is 6 volts, I is the entire current, and R is the entire resistance. So let's say, for example, I'll just do some quick numbers here. Let's say this is uh, 2 ohm. No, 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 no. Let, me, let me put some easier numbers. Uh, let's say this is 1 ohm, and let's go on now. I want to make the numbers more different. Let's put this as 4 ohm and 4 ohm. Okay, so what's the total resistance? 5, yes, correct, 5. How'd you get 5? Mm. Let, me, let me move this a bit off to the side so that I have more space to scribble closer to the circuit. So if we talk about the whole circuit, where V is 6 volts, that means you must take R as 5 ohm. How much is I? You need to see, okay, V is 6 volts for the whole. So then if you wanna, if you have to calculate I, like the question could be something like, um, okay, determine the the, car, the emitter reading, for example. That means this is the current flowing through the whole, the, the, the starting from the circuit. Ma. So, the, so here, if 6 volts, that means you must see, oh, this A is actually for the whole circuit. So if you're taking V as 6 volts, which is the whole circuit, you take R as the whole circuit as well. So then you, so you have 3, get this, section, count, 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 you got 5. Then how you get I? From V equals I, R, 6 equals 5, R. How much is R? You know, my writing is very cha cha. Do you write the answer as 6 over 5? If you write like that in SPM, I'm not getting, you cannot get marks, you know, for final answer. Can you wrap the R? The R looks so bad. What's the answer? Ah, yes. You must write the answer in decimal. I, I think I've said this many times and you've forgotten. Don't write your answer in fractions. Always write your answer in decimal. Okay? So, that's if you take it as a whole. So, you have to remember that you also, if, let's say, however, the question then change, uh, the, another question changes and asks, okay, how much is the voltmeter reading here? I thought the 5 is the R. Eh, upper means food. What? Sorry, thank you. I was asking for I. I go and do this. Sorry, uh, my, I haven't had my morning caffeine yet. <laughs> thank you for pointing it out. Sorry, is this clearer now? <laughs> All right, so then, um, so, so that's if you count it as a whole. But if I say the question changes and you need to focus on one section, 
So then if you want to focus on one section, you only take the values for this section. Like you take the V for this section, the I for this section, this R for this section. So say, for example, if the question asks for the voltage, lah, or the, vo the voltmeter reading over here. So if you take this section, which I will draw dotted lines around, and I'll label this section as, uh, let's say, A. Yeah, don't A, lah, confuse people. Only. Uh, P, confuse me, I'm going to write the wrong thing. Okay, so the section P, then this V is unknown. But how much is the R in this section? Two ohm. Mm, thank you. So from here, how can we figure out the value of V? Sub 1.2 and 2. So that means you put what? V equals IR 1.2 times 2. And you get how much? Yep, correct. So you can, so when you take this section, correct, you count only this R. And you can take the overall 1.2 ampere because combined current of that's flowing here is 1.2. One, is 1 that's why this is correct. Okay, so you you take for that. So so that means uh, you you see how here what I'm trying to focus on here is that when you fo when you want to apply the formula in that particular section, you only count for that section using that v, that i, that r. If the question changes, and now I I'm, I know I'm going all over the place. It's just that I wanted to make this closer. Let's say third question now. I think I better change color so that you can see the distinction. Third question now is what is the the let's say the power dissipated by a four ohm resistor? I type lah. Power dissipated by four ohm resistor. For counter. So if you have to, if you have to count to, uh, you to get bad. If you have to calculate the power dissipated by one four ohm resistor, that means now you only focus on one four ohm resistor, only one. Now how to count? You again, whichever formula you use, if the VIR, that means the V for this, the I for this, the R for this. R is four ohm. More. But obviously, we're going to use the PIV formula or PIR formula, whatever, right? If you use it because power, ma, that means your power is for this formula. If this power is for this component. That means you take the I that flows through this component only and the V for this component only. So how much is... So let's see what's the easiest way to solve this. Do we know how much current is flowing through a single 4 ohm resistor? How much? Yes, correct. How much is the V here? Eh? For in the, the four ohm resistor. Uh, mm, six. Uh. Six volts is the whole circuit. Right? So six volts means it's the voltage for the 3 ohm plus the 4 ohm section. Okay, so if we're only looking at this, we need to take only the V for the 4 ohm. Only for the 4 ohm. 4 ohm resistors, what is the, the potential difference? It's not 6, because 6 is the whole thing. So we need to take only this section. 2.4, yes, thank you. 2.4 volts. 
P equals IV, so this is 0 0.6 times 2.4. Sorry, yes, thank you. Can you give me the, the, the correct value now? Correct value. I'm not even saying. Can you please, someone please calculate the answer for me? I said the wrong thing again. One point four four W. Okay, wait. Let me double check the answer again. Is it all correct? Does it look correct now? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Now it's now it's correct. Yeah. So. Again, but thank you for pointing that out. But yes, that, that also helped emphasize the point that yeah, um, when, we, when we take the formula to, uh, to calculate for a certain section, we make sure that we take the, P, the, 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 the I and the V for that section only. So V is 2.4 because 4 ohm has a potential difference of 2.4, which was already calculated just now. So we cannot take 6 because 6 is for the whole circuit and it's not just across 4 only. So although potential difference, is the same for the parallel section. It's not the same as our, the overall voltage. It's just it just means that it's the same potential difference in that parallel section. Okay, does is it clearer? Okay, so. Is anyone still confused about the series parallel bits? Is this specifically the parallel bit? Because I think most students are confused about parallel. Um, Okay, I will do a quick comparison again between series and parallel. So, talking about just plain series and plain parallel first, huh? then we look at the combined overall. Um, so, this Okay, so when it comes to understanding what's going on in series and parallel, series, right, is very straightforward. It makes a lot of sense because series, right, we already know that the current flow throughout the circuit is the same. So, okay, the point, the common point of, of confusion for series is always that students think that, oh, current decreases as it goes through. Like, you think here and here and here, all different. No, you must remember that current is the same throughout the circuit because current is rate of flow of charge so you think of of it as um the flowy thing right okay so it's a flowy thing it will, it will flow so one way you can think of is like current is something like speed like that it's not really speed but it's kind of like how how, how much is moving so you can't have traffic jam there's no traffic jam in electron world they are very smart one it's like in the moment it hit oh obstacle everyone automatically slows down so everyone will be able to move at the same rate so you can always think of it this way what really happens in in real life is that um, it sends a scout so before we start flowing the the the, the car the, this 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 fella the power supply sends out a scout so scout is like the fellow go recce la. Yeah, recce means that you go you go and find out what's going on you come back and tell me so they send out one fella, la. Find out fella go, 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 go. Ooh, obstacle Ooh, obstacle Eh, no more. Come back. Eh, okay, you guys, this is how much obstacle there is. Then, then only all of them will flow together, together. So this fellow already found out how much obstacle there is. Then you can straight away plan their journey and go. Okay, that's not what happens in real life. La. But you think of it that way. La. <laughs> Make it easier. So that means the moment you start the circuit, la, there's no change in the current already. You know? It's not that, oh, oh okay, uh, uh, the current resistance, uh, the current will change, increase, decrease. No. The only way that happens is if you have a if you if you change the resistance for some reason, like you put a real stat, uh, you put a real stat there, then you simply go and slide up, down, up, down. 
Uh, then, but the thing is, these fellas, uh, even though they start flowing, they all, oh my gosh, you are very smart. Eh, increase, decrease, uh, all of them uh, can adjust. The moment you increase, uh, all of them adjust to slow down. All of them, together, together. That's, that's what is called, the solidarity between all the charge. You, you decrease the current, all, all can flow more. So it's all together, together. Okay? So that's in terms of current. And the same thing happens for parallel. Don't think, oh, I talk about series only parallel, no. Uh, no, parallel is the same thing. It sends out, like the behavior is always the same. You will send out the, the scout. The moment that there's any changes, all of them together, together, they change. All right? Then, in terms of potential difference, also potential difference makes sense because potential difference is work done, ma. So it's it's only across here, ma. Ah, across here, ma. So obviously here V one, V two are different positions, so the values can be different, ah. Even if the values are same, they're not they're not exactly the, like they're not like oh um V one must be same as V two. No, uh, V one is its own, V two is its own. If they happen to be the same, it's because coincidentally they are the same. Okay, so that's how it works with series. Now, for series circuits, another thing that I know a lot of students um, also like get confused about parallel, right? Series, it makes a lot of sense because if you add more resistors in series, then you find that, of course, the overall current value decreases. And when we say increase, it's more like you compare two different scenarios, uh, scenario one, scenario two. It's not, it's not within the same circuit. It's like even if it's within the same circuit, right, you're making changes first, be before, and after. So if we make changes, uh, the one that makes a lot of sense is always that, yeah, you can see from here, ma, oh, more, when, when you increase the, the, the resistance here, so when there's more, let's say like R1, R2, R3, you add on more, the resistance value increases. Because you plasma, like let's say this is 1 ohm, 1 ohm, total resistance, 2 ohm. 1 ohm, 1 ohm, 1 ohm are total resistance, 3 ohm. Make sense, ma? Right? More resistance, ah, higher resistance value, three, from 2 to 3 ohm. You put more resistance, 3 ohm. Long. Then, obviously, current will drop compared to this. Parallel, ah, doesn't make sense. Parallel, right? Okay, let's talk about current very quickly. So, we know the current is going to split. I1, I2. Okay, lah, this one can still kind of get, lah, huh? ah, come back trying to get together. Right? Um, but the one that a lot of students still find confusing i think is that how come uh, they can have the same uh, potential difference different line wall how come different resistance okay so it's so you have to think of it this way it's because that when the current flows ching, ching, ching. Oh, where's my where's my annoying green dot that doesn't move when i want it to move it flow 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 eh oh have to split ah uh. okay so you guys we're going to have to split so some of you are going to take one lane, to some of you are going to take the other lane. But how do we make this fair? So how to make it fair is a total work done. So the total work done, we know, is V equals IR. So whatever is said and done, I don't care who go where, the work done by the end, right, like means from here, starting from here, and by the end of the journey, must be the same. So those who go through this lane, must have done the same amount of work as those who went through this lane. How to count the work done? V equals IR. So that's why the V here must be the same, the V here must be the same also. It's how they make it sure, make, they make sure that, that it's balanced, that everything is fair. That's why the moment um, you split, right, if this has a higher resistance, see like I say higher and I draw the wrong to one only. Point of Captain. Um, the, if you have a higher resistance, then the current becomes lower because it has to balance the V equals IR. When R increases, I decreases. When R decreases, I increases. That's why automatically, whatever flows inside here, the current is higher compared to this current. Okay? Can follow so far? So another thing that confuses a lot of students is that how come uh, putting more resistance uh, in, uh, how come uh, putting more resistors uh, can increase uh, can decrease resistance one? Okay, um, let me put it on this slide. Let's say now we focus uh, on parallel only. Uh. So let's say for example you have one ohm, one ohm. 
Okay. Um, one ohm, one ohm. I, I know it looks like wavy line, but it's one ohm, one ohm. Quickly count for me. This total resistance, how much is it? One, uh. two, uh. Thank you. Zero point five ohm. Clear or not? Why? Yeah. If I have this, that. Wow, now I add another extra resistor, I add another one in parallel. This one, how much is the total resistance? Zero point three 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 three. Okay, yes. So uh, the more resistors you add uh, the lower the total resistance uh. Okay, so that's how parallel sections work. So to help you understand what's going on with parallel circuits you have to think of it as every line you add is a separate circuit that means uh, this is one circuit this is another circuit so what happened they share the same power supply this one also this is one circuit this is another circuit this is another circuit so what happens they all share the same power supply because that is parallel. You see parallel connections that like you want to connect at home, you connect your computer and all that to the different plugs, right? They're actually all in parallel connection. Ma. Each one is getting 240 volts from the power supply, right? Each one is a separate circuit. Each one is, is behaving as a, a circuit separate from one another. So what happened? They share the same power supply, that's all. That means even if I were to redraw this, okay, one ohm, then I put another wire here, 1 ohm. Actually, uh, it's the same as this one. These two are the same. They are exactly the same. Okay? So when I say that we have a separate circuit, so let's say, right, now, so happen I use 1 ohm because it's easier to count. Uh. So let's focus on just the one circuit with the 1 ohm. Alright? Um, make it, let, let's put all same voltage, lah. Actually, some will probably die soon already in real life, but never mind. So, because you, you, you overload one dry cell, the dry cell cannot cope. <laughs> so let's say 3 volts. Lah. 3 volts. Lah, okay? And all, lah, let, let's put a smaller number, like, easier to work with. <laughs> because I just want to do example. 1 volt. Lah, huh? put 1 volt. Lah, huh? I know it doesn't make sense, but never 1 volt. Okay? okay, so if this, look at this original circuit. This original circuit. 1 volt um, one volt power supply, 1 ohm resistor, how much is the current flowing through the circuit? One. Okay. So when I say that you imagine that each one behaves as a separate circuit, right? That means uh, not this part, this part here, because only this fellow only one ohm here now, right? So that means if the current flows through here, through this 1 ohm resistor is 1 ampere because of this, that means here is 1, one ampere. That means here also 1 ampere. So because they behave as separate circuits, this is 1 ampere, this is 1 ampere as well. This gets 1 ampere, 1 ampere because of the 1 volt. Correct? But because they happen to share the same power supply, this wire is carrying current that will supply to both. So that's why end up the current flowing through here is 2 ampere. Because it has to carry the current that to flow in here and in here. So imagine like the the, the carry like the, the auntie carry the trolley or the food, uh, carry all the food first, ma, then go to each classroom, then they distribute uh so distribute class uh, uh to the food to 5M, then distribute food to 5 5A, you know. Then the next line, uh, next food to 5C, you know, stuff like that. So it's got to carry the current to be able to send the correct value of current to each lane. 
So when you add more resistors in parallel, again, this one ohm needs one ampere. This one ohm needs one ampere. Then you add some more here, needs another one ampere. And now how, what happened? Uh, overall current, three ampere. Can follow so far? So you see, right, based on this, V equals IR. Now, this V is, 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 the, is fixed. It's a fixed value because it comes from the power supply. So the R is going to change the value of I. So in this situation, then, V equals IR. Yes, it's possible, depending on where you place the emitter, correct. When you place the emitter, you can potentially get different. It's not like series. Like series, wherever you put, is same. Yeah. So V equals IR here because now this V, this V depends on this, ma, right? This V depends on this. So this is fixed. So why, why has the total effective resistance decreased? Like oh, where this one over R nonsense all come from? Because the moment you, you, you have higher current requirements, the moment you have higher current requirements, that means in the perspective of the power supply, the R has decreased. So you need to understand it like this. This fella doesn't know what's going on in the circuit. You are the big boss. You, the, let's say the boss comes to you, okay, boss, uh, we have this many employees, we need to buy this many lunch boxes. And sometimes the boss is like, you know what, you don't tell me how many employees, you just tell me total number of lunch boxes so that I can buy for, for my, my, my stuff. So you know you to come and give me logistics. Oh, this fella wants chicken, wants pepper. Don't you know? Don't bother. Just tell me how many lunch boxes I pay for the lunch boxes. So this this fella doesn't know what's going on in the circuit because you had just have a wire connecting. Mark. Hey, I got wire here. Then the, then it's like the 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 burden of, of this right is is like it will influence how much current is going flowing here. But for in the sense of this wire, this wire is like I I don't know what's going on in here. So you just need to tell me how much current I need. I send out the current. So if you tell me, oh, you, you only need one ampere current, oh, that means the, the, dry, the dry cell is sinking, oh, the low, the, there's low resistance outside, no? The moment you tell me, oh, you need two ampere, oh, and that means actually there's less resistance there, no? Because now the current is more, no? Here, oh, you got more current, oh, the resistance is even less. Even though in reality, you are adding more and more resistors, from the perspective of the dry cell, the, the essentially less resistance. Because you must understand, when they say total effective resistance, total effective resistance means what is the effect the resistance has on the, the dry cell. So, from the perspective of the dry cell, this, these two, if I put a 0 0.5 ohm resistor, these, these two circuits are exactly the same from the perspective of the dry cell. That's what we mean by total effective resistance. You put two resistors in parallel, curve, you put a single 0 0.5 ohm resistor, is exactly the same effect. That's what we mean by total effective resistance. Same thing, you add three resistors, you can add la, three million resistors in parallel, the dry cell says, I don't care, you just tell me how much current you need. So that means from the perspective of the dry cell, this, resist, this, this circuit, <laughs> why my pen, why is it writing? Okay, these two circuits, are exactly the same. Okay, can follow? When you compare both circuits resistance, the value of R must be the same. No, I'm putting all same because it's easier to compare. If you put different, nah, it's the same behavior. You can try and count and see, just for great further understanding, right? You see, the more resistors you add in parallel, uh, the lower the resistance will become. A more higher value, higher resistance value, low, even lower, you know, the effective resistance. So I'm only doing a comparison where the, the values are the same, because it's easier to compare. But if, let's say, you have different resistance values, the same concept applies. Each line behaves as a separate circuit. Each line behaves as a separate circuit. So say for example, right, 
if let's say this with this uh this this voltage is uh six volts okay because now if let's say now you already immediately know, oh each line behaves as a separate circuit straight away if you vir it this we now know okay the, assuming not nothing else i'm only talking about pure parallel uh, no other nothing else in between us uh, but <coughs> i can literally say this is six ampere current you understand how i got that number like this one so if nothing else are uh, pure parallel straight away i know this is six ampere three ampere 0 0.6 ampere this based on my understanding that for a pure parallel circuit like this when i say pure parallel means nothing else uh, only parallel uh, each line behaves like a separate circuit. That's why I can get the answer straight away using V equals by R. Okay? Can follow so far? Um, because it's a ratio. Because um, although work done, yes, is joules, but then when we look, uh, I think you think of it like work done, right? The potential difference in the end when you look at the definition is what? It's work done per unit charge. Per unit charge so the work done here let's say is six volts like six joules sorry here's also six joules then you'll see okay for it's six joules for every charge six joules for every charge so it's like an average so you think of potential difference is like the average work done between two points because it's per unit charge it's a ratio not a total so if it's a combined circuit by the way if you're wondering oh then teacher if we combine uh, the circuit can we still use the same understanding for the parallel circuit can but you must tweak a bit it, it, because now when you have something like this like the earlier question right you you cannot take like let's say these six volts you, now you have to understand oh this six volts is not over here it's not six volts is for the whole thing but you can think of it okay this is actually it's like this is one circuit and this is another circuit so then whenever you get parallel uh, you see a for something else here if you're talking about parallel, that means the parallel concept only applies in here. So let's say, for example, if you can somehow find out the voltage for this section, like let's say earlier we already determined, right? Let's say you count, count, count. Let's say uh, this section is 2.4 volts. Then you think of it as, okay, if you isolate this section, if this was its own circuit, there is a 2.4 voltage power supply applied to here only. So this point is 2.4, this point is 2.4, then you treat this as a separate circuit to count whatever you need inside here. Then you can then you can take whatever you understood from here, but you apply it only inside here, not for the whole circuit. So you then you segmentize it. You look at only that segment. Okay, does that help? So anytime you get confused about parallel, you come back to this understanding. Come back to this understanding. All right. Why why is it that effective resistance increases? If you add more resistance, how come resistance decreases? Like upper nonsense. It's because of this concept. The more you add, then uh, each you're adding more and more circuits, then from the perspective of the power supply, oh, the you need more current. So that means like less resistance law? That's 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 what the circuit is thinking. Okay, and then, um, ah, okay, uh, 9.15 maybe. Okay, so just a super quick one or so, just remember the concept of short. It's, was, these are not, not so important lah. But when we talk about shorts, not your shorts, like your pants, okay, the short circuit. So short circuit, right, means uh, the, when you connect a wire, like directly, no, this one, uh, zero resistance. This is short circuit. So when this happens, you fry the dry cell uh, because based on the same idea of uh, parallel circuits, right? When the resistance decreases, current increases. If the resistance drops to zero, it really drops like drop down. This current will go up infinity. So too much current flow, it can actually uh, fry... <laughs> No, la, fry, la. power supply, not usually, the, the both dry cell usually the current is very low, but it will drain the dry cell. Lo. The current will, will drain very, very quickly, then the dry cell is used up very quickly. But also remember that uh, you can also have shorts in uh, one segment only. Like if you come across questions, and I know you have where they have like, oh, they put a switch like that, right? So um, switch is the same thing. If, if you close this, 
if you happen to close this, then that means um, you provide a, a, what you call a zero resistance path here. Normally, the current will split. But what happens is the current wants to split. It's like, you know, the V equals IR, you know, like I told you, same amount of work, right? But here, A, no matter how much current you send, it's zero, zero, something times zero is zero, right? This is not as bad as CD, asking CD to divide by zero, but still, whatever times zero equals zero, right? So if it's whatever times zero equals zero, here it's impossible to ever be at zero, ma. Then, then what happens? All the current will flow this way, lo? so that everything is zero, okay? So that's why um, when, you, when you have a switch like that and you close, that means there is no current flowing through this uh, component. All the current will flow and skip into uh, the zero resistance path. So this is only true when it's zero resistance. If the resistance is low, like 0 0.1, then still got current. It's only when it's zero that, uh, no, that, that all the current flows there and no current flows there. Okay? Okay? So, so if you come across questions, it, that means uh, when you put a switch like this, you are saying you're taking the resistor out. It's equivalent to taking the resistor out. Can I? Current always flows into low resistance wire. No, current flows, current was split into two. Uh, like here, current was split. Not to say, oh, it flows only to the low resistance. No, it was split higher current into low resistance, but there will still be current flowing in the high resistance path. It will only skip when there is zero resistance. Very important to understand. Current will always split. It only skips when, if and only if there is a zero resistance path. Voltage. Ah, good question. Voltage, yeah. Um, because voltage is, voltage provides the, because I remember I said like potential difference is like uh, work, right? That means, um, the voltage of the dry cell is is basically the dry cell is providing energy. It's providing energy. So the more voltage it has, then the 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 more work that needs to be done. That means the stronger the field would be because not it's not current because uh what's the best way to explain this? Um, if you have a power supply, right, that you apply into like I say across um like, like this, right. So, it's, it's sort of like, because there's a positive negative, you imagine a current flow, it needs to try to flow across the negative. So, there's a negative pull here that needs to, like, you think of it, or it needs to pull, like, like it needs to, to, cre to, to create that, 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 that tension. Higher voltage, higher, higher tension, so stronger electrical field. So, that's why voltage is the... Uh, the factor, not current. One thing that may help you understand, right, uh, especially when you look at all this uh, formula and all that, oh, we all love formula, right, because it's physics. Um, what's the correct term to say? Um, look at the cause and effect. Um, that means when you look at the circuit, you look at which one is the, which one causes the effect. Which one changes, which one doesn't change? Uh, which one is the one you can manipulate and which one is the one that responds? So when it comes to a circuit, right, in all cases, current is always the responding, meaning that we don't, when you switch, when you put in the circuit, right, current, current responds to changes. So the, the manipulated actually, right, is the voltage. Because when you put in the circuit, you switch on the power supply, you reset, oh, Two volts, three volts, four volts, five volts. You put the battery out. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six batteries. That's your voltage you are changing. You are changing the voltage. Higher voltage potential or higher current? No? Lower voltage, lower current? No? Resistance left. Resistance is also not a uh, responding. It is a manipulated. You put your resistor in there, three ohm resistor. You change the voltage, the resistance doesn't change, ma. Right? You put in one is a 3 ohm, then you increase the voltage, 6 volts, 10 volts, 6,500 volts. Resistance is still 3 ohm. It doesn't change. So just because you have a, a what do you call, you have a formula. My caffeine hasn't kicked into my bloodstream yet. Just because you have a formula this way, uh, doesn't mean all of them can manipulate. Oh, if I change I, therefore R will change. 
Uh, don't say that. Uh, you, I will disown you as my physics student. Okay? Because just because you have a formula, right, doesn't mean yeah, that all of them can be manip manipulated that way. You have to see the situation. Okay? Logic. The resistance depends on the resistor you put inside. You change whatever you like here, the R is not going to change. True or not? Okay? So if you change if you're so if you're changing V, you cannot say, oh, when V increases, R increases. I'm sorry, la, yeah, me. Okay? I owe this on you. You change V, I only I can change, R doesn't change. So I will depend on what you put here. I depends on these two. So I is always going to be your yeah, manipulated in this case. Okay. Yeah, clear. Huh? Okay, so yeah, so um, so V. But sorry, I know this doesn't really, uh, doesn't really answer the question, but I but this is just something I wanted to highlight because um, okay, this one not so much lah. <laughs> okay, this one more because I have I have I come across so many students before. Oh, they ask you, you know, what happens? Uh, they, they, this question asked like, oh, we increase the voltage. What happens? Ah, uh, tell me resistance increase. Okay, so but but yeah, so that's not related to this question, but I thought this was important to know. Um, so this applies not only for circuits, okay? It applies for all concepts. So even when you look at F equals M A, all right, you look at P equals F over A, you look at um, what are the others? Uh, F equals K X, right? You you have to see which one is the cause and which one is the effect. Not they're not blanket, not a blanket rule like oh all, all are free for all. Good luck with that lah. Okay, but yeah. So in terms of electrical field strength, it depends on V. Electrocution depends on I. Like if you feel like, oh, got electric shock, that one is current, that one's not voltage. Okay, because electric shocks is due to how much current is flowing, the sparks, right? It's depend on current flow. So if you feel an electric shock or the like lightning strike kind of concept and all that, uh, that one depends on I, that's not V. Okay, but to create the electrical field strength, that's V because it creates a tension for the strength. Any other questions? Checking what I need to cover. Yeah. All right. Uh, EMF internal resistance okay, yeah. Uh, because um, I I think some of you may want me to go into electronics, really.